Max Mohal, St. Thomas. Again. This is the section of Max Mohal, known to many residents as the Cat Road. This is the double H hardware store here. This road is, this, I think this is the second avenue. This second avenue. I will go back to Rachma Hall, I will go to the 2nd Avenue, Rachma Hall So this is the section of Rachma Hall, known to many residents as the Cat Road Sports bar is. So this is Barnet Corner now. many residents as Barnett Corner because of a lady by the name of Miss Barnett who had a shop here years ago that's how the name Barnett Corner came about this way back up to the vault road where the William vault is the William's vault is home to the remains of the William's family for over 300 years Here is Harrison's cave, as I said before. Harrison's cave was all under here. Harrison's cave is just over here, where I'm looking at. Harrison's cave is known as the eighth wonder of the world, a natural heritage site. Harrison's cave was discovered in 1970 by Danish geologists Ole Sorensen and Barbadian Tony Mason. Who Dug their way to the cave from the late, when in the early 70s, into the early 80s, and then in 1981, the cave was open on the 28th of November 1981 as a tourist attraction by the Prime Minister of the day, Tom Adams, who was also the parliamentary representative for St. Thomas. We came back up the Vaught Road. So, all under here is the cave. This road leads you back to St. Thomas Post Office, back down to for Innocent Church and School, and all down to Lurch Mahal Main Road. Let's go back to the Vaughan Road, let's go back to Harrison Square, Lurch Mahal Billy, and back to Sturges. South St. Thomas, which is in the center of the area. St. Thomas and St. George are the two parishes in Barbados, in the center of the island. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplift of Barbados. The 
back up the water run. So there is no sea, no coastline in this power ship. So we have a lot of power ships in Barbados. Right, so watching now. Another thing about the Williams as well, that is located up the street here, it is home to the remains of the Williams family for over 300 years. Gracias.